do you happen to be here today? No. Man. Oh, such a hard worker. Oh me, oh my. What should I cook today? It's hard to come up with a new menu that doesn't overlap with the old. Hmm. Yeah, you had a lot of stuff going on last time when we cooked so much. That's actually a uh, fair point. I haven't actually noticed a big uh, repeat of dialogue. I'm going to cook, make a pot of stew. The sound of the simmering water is entertaining. Wow, talk about being easily entertained. <laughs> but you know, like all the activities, I haven't really ran into the same stuff as much. I don't know if it's because, like, with GM, we were mostly on the balcony a lot, or what the reason for that is. Right here? Aww. I drew a picture inspired by a work I saw at an exhibition. Well, at least there's that. We gotta run into our boy, he's hardly here. See, he's not here. I'm worried. Uh, that's stress. I don't need stress relief. Really. How about homework? Just continue cooking, I guess. I tried making spinach quiche. Making the pastry seems hard. Maybe I should just buy the pre-made one. Girl, let me tell you, it is so much easier. And you, I don't think I can't tell between store-bought and homemade. Oh boy. Well, it's not like I have a lot of options, right? I could study art. <sighs> Wrong animal altogether. Well. Oh man. That would be terrible if I just gave Jesus Rose bouquet. There's some dust. What do you want me to do with this? Eat it? Do you think I eat everything? Yes. Eat this dust. It's a symbol of my love. Okay, please, please be out here. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I have a love letter. Hopefully this works. Ah! A man can misunderstand if you give them something like this. Or am I not misunderstanding you? Are you watering the plants, my lady? May I join you? In order to keep the plants healthy, you must provide constant care. I am sure they are staying healthy because of your loving care, my lady. Don't misunderstand, I'm trying to tell you I love you. Please, boo. Be my boo. I can't remember what was the last thing we did. I know we went to the restaurant, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we've gone to the cafe yet. Yes, I will be glad to go with you. Ever since I started working, I feel slightly uncomfortable to go to places where there are many people. Yeah. But I will be fine as long as I could be by your side, my lady. May I ask what you are thinking about, my lady? <laughs> I'm thinking about the picture I drew before. Thinking about those things and you. What is what is those things? I don't understand. Excuse me. Ah, I understand. I will take that into consideration. What? It, well, I'm glad he understood it because I didn't. What? I see. I still can vividly remember that picture of yours, my lady. It was certainly impressive. Yes. I apologize. Did I make you feel uncomfortable? I... I don't know. <sighs> this? I don't know. No. You know, you know what? I don't... Oh, gosh, it is so hard. He said more in that one. I'm just going to go with it. Well, at least I found some more poems. And I'll pick up these straws, I guess. <sighs> Did you have an enjoyable day, my lady? I would have more of one if you would give me more straightforward answers. <laughs> Please, allow me the honor to accompany you again. Oh, back away. I do not mind
mind you going out with others, but please stay away from the black cat. Oh, somebody's trying to get jelly. Hmm. Excellent. <laughs> oh, I should use that thingy. Items. Oh, here's straws, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's what we like to see. Okay. Let me take a bite of this. Wow, delicious! Everything is so done well. Well done today. Good job, me. I'm amazing. Okay. I'll go take a bath. I wanted to sing a song all of a sudden. La 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 la. You feeling happier? Maybe. So relieved every time. All right, what to give you today? It's gonna be my other girl's romance. Don't misunderstand. Yes, you can help me. How's our points doing with you? Ninety-three. Decided to make cream pasta. Maybe I should add some pepper to make it spicy. Mmm, that sounds good. Um, okay, you're in the bedroom. Are you here? Yes, good. I still have more gifts for you. Do you like some silent shoes? Actually, I'm just gonna quick save because if he doesn't like them, I'd rather sell them and get some money. I did like them. You prepared this for me. I'm truly happy. Thank you. Are you trying to paint something? Your talent for painting is a gift. Your talent is always shining brightly. Aww, great increase in my heart gauge. Gee, hey. Let's level that up. Pressure, yes please. Um, okay, let's see, are you here again? Yes, good. Do I still have gifts for you? I can give you this mouse bed. Yeah. I did, I prepared it all for you. I'm painting. Your artworks are beautiful. I believe you should be more confident about yourself, my lady. Oh, look at that face! I'm loving all the smiles he's giving her lately. So nice. He doesn't look so somber. Yeah, you. Ah, yes. Um, that's, uh... I received an unexpected phone call today from Mom. I was on the phone, stuttering, trying to think of what to say. Oh no, are we doing like a romance shoot? Are we gonna do a romance shoot? Please? Please? Oh, oh my goodness. Please, just once. It can't be anyone else but you. Please, the pay will be good, I promise. But I'm still a student. The more I try to refuse the offer, the stronger they ask for it. <sighs> All right, so here's the deal. Jihei's popularity was skyrocketing. He needed someone to manage his schedule and take care of his health. In other words, Jihei needs a manager. <laughs> Darn it, I wanted a romance shoot! I don't want to be his manager. Is this really a part-time job? Jihei hated having strangers around, making it impossible to get a manager. But without a manager, Jihei's schedules often collided with one another and the agency couldn't get in touch with him at times. So his agency called me, thinking that Jihei might accept me, who lives with him, as his manager. I shouldn't have said I'm his family when I went to see him work last time. You'll be able to receive many benefits as the manager. But Jihei's manager... I, I really don't have time as I'm still a student. I'm sorry. I was refusing. I still haven't graduated from college yet, and I still don't know what I want to be in the future. But to be a manager of a model? I had enough of my plate already. I didn't have the time to be Jihei's manager. 
I could hear them whispering amongst themselves. Whisper, whisper, whisper. These people don't know when to give up. I had to refuse, no matter what their offer was. I was going to say something when somebody grabbed my hand. Jihei? Jihei was standing right behind me. Jihei's cold hand grabbed my hand on the phone. Uh... Jihei took the phone away from my hand. I blinked in confusion. You can't just call people like this. Jihei said into the phone without a hello. Ooh! If you keep this up, I have no choice but to quit. What? Jihei hung up the f as the voice in the phone protested. No, well, wait! I apologize for troubling you. N no! Is it okay to quit? I don't need to work anymore if it causes you trouble. It's not really important to me anyway. Jihei's expression was as cold as ice. How could you quit so easily? You're going to quit because it troubles me? Are you serious? Who quits for such a reason? You've worked for several months already, and people are acknowledging your talent. You have fans who love you and people who see your potentials. Do you mean it? I know for certain that those people really care for Jihei. They're trying so hard to get him a personal manager. Phone rang again. It's probably the agency. This agency really cared for Jihei. Why would he possibly want to quit? They don't really care for Jihei, they just care that he's making them a lot of money. Both of us remained silent until the phone stopped ringing. I thought that Jihei might pick up the phone, but he didn't. When the phone finally became silent, Jihei spoke. I don't want to trouble anyone. That's why. Trouble someone? That's not it. I don't want to trouble you, my lady. No, I don't think of it like that. There's no need for you to worry about me any longer. With that, Jihei turned around. You better not be leaving! J Jihei, wait! I unconsciously raised my voice. Jihei turned to look at me. Are you really going to quit like this? Doesn't being recognized by others mean anything to you? How can you quit so easily? I don't understand. He found work that people acknowledged him for, yet he was quitting just like that. Why is there wizard music all of a sudden? The wizard just likes to come in and troll once in a while, just like do 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 do. Jihei, doing his modeling job, had been amazing. He'd been absolutely stunning. And the staffs were trying so hard to help Jihei show his full potential. But Jihei, my lady, he has so many people who need him, who like him. But he's just letting them all go as if nothing's wrong. It's strange. A workplace that recognizes and needs you. People who accept and like you. Those are the things that I wanted. Jihei has everything. I'm not that pretty, just plain. I don't even know what I want to do. And... I have no idea how I can be acknowledged by the society. Even as I study and go to the cram school every day, I still don't know. Jihei has everything that I want, yet he's willing to let it all go so easily. Too easily. How can you just let everything go so easily? What about those who cheer you on? Those who acknowledged you? You don't need them at all? Do you really not need all of that? There is someone out there who wants it really bad. Does that mean nothing to you? Is it because you have everything you want that it's easy to give them up to? Because you can always have them back? Some people want it but can't get it. Yet it's all yours. You got it all so easy for you. No matter how hard I try, that's not happening for me. No matter how hard I try. What I want to be. What I want to do. I'm scared that nobody will need me, no matter how hard I try. My lady. Jihei called me with a warm voice. Ah, uh, I realized I'd been overly agitated. Whether he gives up or not. That is for Jihei to decide. I was disappointed in myself and letting it all out on Jihei. What I have right now are not important to me. Because... He doesn't know if that's what he wants? Hello? Clicking? I have not known 
what I like or dislike for a long time now. What? Doesn't know what he likes and dislikes? Now that I think about it, what does Jihei like? Broccolis. His favorite food? Favorite music? Favorite color? And what does he dislike? Nothing came into my mind. Jihei has never said that he liked anything. He'd never said he liked anything. Not even something small. Was that why he could quit the modeling job so easily? Because he neither likes nor hates it? Because it's not what he really wanted? I'm pathetic. I don't even know what I really want. Pathetic. I never ever thought he was pathetic. Do you wish that I don't quit my modeling job? Of course I do. I wish that Jihei would continue doing something he could be acknowledged for. I wanted him to remain that amazing person I saw at the photo shoot, getting acknowledged by people. Yes, I nodded. When I saw you working last time, he literally shined when he was at a photo shoot. The people that worked with him knew this and tried their best to capture it on camera. I thought you were amazing. I don't want him to quit. Unless he had a real reason to quit, I wanted him to be with the people that knew his value. And... I thought you looked absolutely amazing at work. Jihei really was breathtakingly beautiful. I mean, just look at that. I can still vividly remember how he looked at the time. And whenever I think about it, my heart begins to pound. I couldn't believe that the amazing model was Jihei. And my heart was beating like crazy then. And that person is now standing in front of me. He was looking at me, concerned. This is embarrassing. Just looking into his eyes just makes me extremely embarrassed. My heart began to quicken. Why? Why am I reacting like this? And why am I becoming awkward again? Why am I so conscious of him? Why, 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 why can't I keep calm around him? Thank you for the compliment. Why am I blushing? Why can't I keep my cool? Why can't I? Now I have a reason not to quit. My lady. My pulse was racing. Don't pass out. I couldn't breathe. Are you feeling sick? You're a bit red. N no I couldn't look into Jihei's eyes any longer. I was too shy. You're avoiding my gaze again. This is... because... <laughs> My lady. Jihei's voice was unusually calm. My face was still facing the other way. No, it wasn't. Was it a lie about me being beautiful? A lie? Is he again thinking that the reason why I avoided his gaze is because I don't like the way he looks? Just tell him you want to love him because of his beauty. Uh, of course not. Surprised, I turned my face and looked straight into Jihei's eyes. That's not it. Then why? Jihei's blue eyes were looking at me. Okay. The reason I can't look at you. The reason my face is so red and my heart is beating so fast. I... I really don't know why I'm like this. I can't look at you. When I do... I, 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 uh, um, I, I felt as if my face was going to explode. Oh, he jung I didn't know what to say. My head was blank. I mean, um, my lady. Jihei took a step closer to me. He, he's close. My heart was at it again. Would you please clarify for me? Jihei's face closed up on mine. Just kiss you two, that'll clarify things for both of you. He's too close. I can barely even breathe. Jihei was waiting for my answer with... With? With what? If you don't, I might get the wrong idea. Please. Tell me exactly why you won't look at me, my lady. Do you really not know the reason? <sighs> Was he really going to make me say it? The reason why my heart is pounding? My face is... I... I mean... I had to say it. With my face bright red. 
the reason you were always on my mind. I like you. Wow. I, closing my eyes, I shouted in a small voice. Oh, he Jung, I'm so proud of you. There, I said it. So, I... I opened my eyes and Jihei was looking at me. All right. All right? I won't stop you from making your choice. What, 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 what does he mean? And since I heard your explanation... Jihei reached out his hand to grab the back of my head. Yes! 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 What? Holy cow, look at those hands! H huh? I won't hide my feelings either. Yes! 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 Ah! And before I knew it, Jihei's lips brushed against mine. I... I cannot believe this. Look at that! Oh, it's so romantic. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Jihei's kissing me? My heart was about to burst. My mind was blank. My face was too red. My pulse was too quick. I couldn't even open my eyes, even though they're wide open in this picture. Jihei's arms gently wrapped around my head. His lips were... soft. Yes! Yes! Could this really be happening? Did Jihei find love again? Jihei and I? It was like a dream. The reason I couldn't make eye contact with him. The reason it was so awkward. The reason my pulse quickened when Jihei was around. This was why. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm so happy it finally happened! Oh yeah, we got three hearts. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. Eee! <laughs> oh. But then he's like, all right. I'm, I, I'm slightly, slightly concerned. I made toast. <laughs> what jam should I eat with it? Apple, strawberry? Blueberry. I'm slightly concerned that he's accepted his fate in a way. Like maybe he doesn't really like her. I I mean he seems to like her, but maybe he hasn't acknowledged it to himself really yet, and he just kissed her because he's like, well, she made her choice, so you know. <sighs> oh, and I was not paying attention. I should have opened the fridge for it first. Of course. I bought olive oil from the grocery store. I hear that it's healthier than other types of oil. I've heard that too. I also bought olive oil the other day because I'm hearing that. Small world, he Jung. She can't help but to continuously think of Jihei. Oh. I'm going to challenge myself to flip that crepe. I did it! Nobody was here again! Nobody ever here when I do that. Okay, let's see if we can find you. Nope. I drew the hero of a cartoon I enjoyed as a child. Huh. That's nice. I want to get to the weekends so I can go on a date. Nope. You will be able to steadily increase your scores only when you keep taking the exam. I don't know about that. Unless you know what you got wrong the first time you took the exam. Alright, let's go to the movies. Yes, we shall do that. And there are more people here than usual. I am fine. I don't think there are any women following me. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh! Uh. Eek! I'm scared! Or gulp. Uh, my lady, are you okay? And your face is rather pale. Maybe that one? Ah. Uh, my lady, please hold my hand if you are scared. 
It's all right. I am here, right next to you. Ah, that's so cute. Thank you. Ah, stamps. And we'll take our popcorn out to the garbage. Was that too terrifying, my lady? I should have selected another movie instead. <laughs> you picked that movie. I will make sure to choose a different genre next time. Oh. It looks as if you had quite a scare. You should go back home and get a good rest. Uh, oh, but you can come a little closer. I'm not scared of you. Right? Okay, we got a hundred out of a hundred. That's good. I'm always gonna check to make sure that he's actually here or not. Did the coating on the pan wear out? The food is sticking to the pan. I should buy a new one. Oh, I hate that. Still continuously thinking about Yichi, hey? Uh, let's go have a bath. I put in some bath salts effective for relaxing the body and the mind. I think it's working! Huzzah! Every fifth. Art skill. Okay, we have maxed everything out. Let's cook. Oh, didn't run into Gian. I made mac and cheese. It's a bit bland. Aw, oh, that's too bad. You should put some wieners and some fried onion in it. Mm. Put some ketchup on it. You're good to go. Pressure? Yes, thank you very much. I will take that. I cooked spicy tofu stew. Putting clams makes the stew even more delicious. Begin with that fish. Yijung. Stop cooking fish all the time. I made a salad. I will decorate it with apples cut into the shape of a rabbit. Now you're getting it. Finally. She finally gets it. Um, I guess we just continue to build those stats. I should make eight rolls. Cabbages and carrots. Should I add something more? Go on a date to find some stamps at the bookstore. Yes, I will gladly go with you. It seems that you are fond of books. Women with intelligence are indeed beautiful. Ah, Gee, hey. This book. The techniques to... Oh no! Gee, hey, that book is... What, what? Please, your lady. Ah, so... And this book teaches the readers to kiss well. Although I don't think guidance is necessary to kiss well. <laughs> Maybe that one? What's this? I was reading the wrong book by mistake. My lady, are you embarrassed? Uh, we'll just do what, 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 what? Let's look around. No stamps, really? There's like garbage here. I don't know why I bother coming to the bookstore. <sighs> you bought a lot of books, my lady. Here, let me help you with that. Well, I guess reading books all day can be exhausting, too. You look rather tired, my lady. You should get some rest at home. So worn out from all that book shopping, though. Ooh, another scene. Uh oh. It's the screech music. No, this isn't happening. Oh, that lady again. Oh, I regretted that we came out to a crowded neighborhood on a weekend like this. Back when I was in high school, I went to cram schools on the weekends. Jihei, noticing that I was uncomfortable, asked carefully. Jihei doesn't seem to care at all. That's pretty impressive. Shall we watch a movie? At least in the movie theaters, it would be quiet. As you wish. Come to think of it, I don't think Jihei has ever said that he dislikes something. He did say that he didn't know what he liked and disliked. Maybe that was why I wanted to find it for him. I wanted to help him discover his likes and dislikes. 
Jihei probably did have it. His preferences. Uh, what do you want to see? Jihei just answered. Whatever you'd like to see, my lady. No! This is not good enough. That was it. Was it really okay for me to do everything as I wanted? I felt sad. The ads came on before the movie actually began. And things became awkward between us two again. No! You guys just had a kiss! Why do I feel awkward again? We both confessed our feelings and even kissed. But I'm still feeling awkward. Hey. I conjured up what little courage I had to call Jihei. It was too awkward. I had to say something. Anything. Jihei turned his head to look at me. What is it, my lady? No. Why am I becoming embarrassed again? <laughs> Nothing. Whenever I look at Jihei, I become tongue-tied. Oh. The movie began, and the hero and the heroine came on. The two characters have a misunderstanding and fight, without realizing their love for each other. But they soon discover that they have feelings for one another. The two meet and kiss on a beautiful arch bridge. Kiss. The first kiss with Jihei was really... Ah. I was thinking of it again. My face turned bright red. Uh-uh. Jihei put his hand on top of mine! Stop! Oh! Stop! You're breaking my heart in all the right ways. Surprised, I looked at Jihei and he smiled gently when our eyes met. Ah, uh, how can he be so calm? My heart is pounding like crazy! Is this making you uncomfortable? Jihei whispered. It is, but I don't hate it at all. It's okay. But I can't concentrate on the movie. Feels like my hot hand was warming Jihei's too. And for some reason. It was uncomfortable, yet it sent tingles down my spine. I wish he wouldn't let go of my hand. I even wish that the movie would never end. Is this the, uh... The, uh, person on screen? The reason why we feel pain isn't because our love is over. It's because our love continues. No matter how painful it is, I will always love you. Is it because the movie theater is dark? My heart was thumping. We're only holding hands and watching a movie together. But it made me feel as if we were alone together in the theater. It made me feel both excited and happy. The movie was at its climax of the plot. The two main characters were kissing again. Wow. Was that kind of kiss even possible? Turned my head upside down at an angle. Unknowingly, my eyes were wide open fixed on the screen. Before, I would have turned my face away of embarrassment. But now that I've had my first kiss, I'm kind of curious to do some experimenting. Oh my goodness, how is that even possible? <laughs> you look so amused. Oh, my lady. Huh? Surprised, I turned to Jihei. Ah, uh, he saw it all. How I was concentrating so hard on the kiss scene. I, I, um, it was just, just so interesting. <laughs> but why are you laughing? I looked down with my face as red as a carrot. You're adorable, my lady. Ugh. That makes me even more embarrassed. The movie was shorter than expected and ended soon after the climax. Hey. The story was a bit obvious. I mean, gee, we would have loved it. Uh, was the movie fun? Yeah, it was a bit obvious, but still interesting. <clears throat> Jihei and I were still sitting in our seats after the movie was over, listening to the music of the closing credits. But he wasn't letting go of my hand. My hand was still in his. Should I just naturally pull my hand away? What if he thinks I don't like it, though? Shall we go? Fortunately, Jihei let go of my hand as he stood up. My lady. Huh? And Jihei put out his hand again! Oh, I can't! Uh... Um... 
you want me to hold it? Like, you want to walk together holding hands? There are so many people here. I don't want to lose you here. Oh, that was smooth. Um, we're right! Yeah, he's right. All these people were getting out at the same time. If we don't hold hands, we might lose each other. Yeah, it'd be safer to hold hands. Although, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we didn't hold hands. I got up and took Jihei's hand. Your hand is small. It, is it? Well, yeah, if you got big monster hands like you have. I never thought about such a thing as... I never thought such a thing about hands before. Being too small. We left the crowded movie theater while holding hands. We held our hands tight and didn't let go until long after we got out of the theater. Ah, yes! I can't! I can't handle it! <laughs>